want to show some appreciation to Tony and to Alan. Thank you so much for organizing all this. And it's a real fitting tribute. My name is Chip Kendall, and uh, you can tell from my accent that I'm not from around here. But I've been in England now for 22 years. I'll have you know. And um, I'm an artist based over in South Manchester. But um, such a joy to be with you guys tonight. Two things that Mike gave me. Number one, when I first got into broadcasting, I was really nervous because I was used to performing in front of crowds as part of the band with no name. And we used to go all over the world. But, uh, but I was nervous about getting into broadcasting. He said, Chip, the trick with broadcasting is this. Instead of imagining that you're talking to a whole bunch of people, because chances are there's more people listening when you broadcast than there are when you're just in a room with people. Instead of thinking about all those people, just talk to one person. And that's really stayed with me. Thank you, Mike, for that. That was awesome. And that stayed with me on lots of different levels as well. Even when I'm talking to one person, just focus on that one person. And then the other thing that he did was he saw something in me. There was something about Mike where deep would call into deep. And I think that's why he was able to help broken people find healing. But one of the things that he saw in me, which I didn't even see in myself at the time, was he, he told me once, he said, you know, Chip, you're an evangelist, that's clear, but you also have an apostolic anointing. I see an apostle in you. And I was like, what was that? What do you mean? It didn't make sense to me at the time, but since then, I've gone on to see all sorts of things happen. Most recently, we've launched seven youth gospel community choirs. And uh, it's, I'm making lots of little chip kindles all over the place. It's great. It's brilliant. And I love that. And another thing is that uh, my church, Audacious Church in Manchester, has asked me to help them write an Easter musical for primary schools. And it feels really great, like what, what Mike said, because we're able to package it in a way that anybody can perform these musicals in schools, and we're doing them this Easter. And so the song that I chose to, uh, to bring is actually one of the songs that we wrote. So the musical is called Easter, What's It All About? And it helps primary school age kids wrap their heads around what Christians believe happened at Easter. And we tell the whole story of Easter through the eyes of Peter. The disciple Peter. And, um, and so I'm going to perform one of the songs that Peter sings in the musical called My Best Friend's Gonna Save the World. So tell me what you think about that. <laughs> so uh, are you guys up for joining in with this song? We are, after all, in St. Peter's Church. Over here is the baptismal. I actually thought that was a pizza oven when I first got in. I was really upset to find out that it wasn't. But the part that you guys do is really easy. Can everybody wave their hands side to side? Can you do that? My best friend's gonna save the world. My best friend's gonna save the world. My best friend's gonna save the world. So tell me what you think about that. Yeah, you got the last part. Well done. Can we try that all together? My best friend's gonna save the world. My best friend's gonna save the world. My best friend's gonna save the world. So tell me. Multiply bread when we have no dollar. 